Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. I'm Andy Batiste and today I'm gonna to go through all the different ways you can create links and create shortcuts to different places and pages in Microsoft OneNote. All right guys, let's get straight into it, but don't forget, if you like the content Nathan and I push out, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell button so you're gonna get notified every time we bring out new content. All right, creating links in OneNote. We're gonna start with the basics, but I've got a couple of little quick shortcut tips for you at the end, so definitely stick around for those. But the first one is essentially just inserting a link. Now, if you have the link handy and available and you know what the website is, you can essentially just type the link in. For example, Google is always a simple one. And that's gonna automatically create a hyperlink and that will take me to Google. And the other example is if you have an existing website, you go simply copy and paste that URL. I have this really cool YouTube channel. So I'm gonna copy that link and I'm gonna head back to my OneNote and I'm gonna simply paste that link in. Now you can see that gives me obviously the full hyperlink. If I wanna make that nice and neat, I can simply right click, go into my link and edit that. And there you go, and I could do the same for Google. The next one is copying link to a page to create a little shortcut to take you to that page. So if I wanna copy or create a little shortcut to this worksheet here, I'm gonna right click, copy link to page, head back to my link in OneNote page, and I'm gonna paste that in. And you can see that I've now got a link that will take me straight to the Power of Radio worksheet. So you can also do the same thing for a section or a notebook. So if I wanted to copy to this OneNote section, same process, copy link to section, paste, and that will happen straight in there. And you can also do the same for an entire notebook. You just need to make sure if you're doing it, if it's a shared notebook, that the other people involved maybe have permission to those notebooks. But a really quick way to, as you're working, to create links to different pages, sections, section groups, and different notebooks. The other one you could do is create a contents page. I do already have a video on that, so I'm not gonna go through and show that, but it's essentially the same process. Copy link to page, and you're copying all those links together if you highlight all those pages, and that will create a little contents page for you. Super quick and simple. And the last two are two little cool little tips that I picked up recently, is a quick link to a page where if I want to quickly link to this example page, if I use my double brackets and essentially type the word or the title of that page, close my brackets, that will create a little link and take me straight to that example page. And the last one is if you wanna do the same thing but you wanna create a new page. So for example, I'm going to double brackets and call that test, close brackets, and you can see it's created a hyperlink and it's also created a new page for me. So there you go, that is a really cool and simple way to look at some of the different ways you can create and insert links in OneNote to create some really cool shortcuts and time savers.